sex, it may be you. Now, I don't know if it is or not, but the context of the of the conversation kind of led her to believe that it may be you. Yep. There's no way for me to prove that, but I'm just, I'm just giving you the courtesy call to let you know that if it is you, just knock it off. <laughs> This story time is pretty much a continuation from my first story time with John. If you don't know who John is, <laughs> you gotta go watch this one. Before you watch this one, you gotta go watch that one because I ain't doing no recaps, no backtracks, none of that, right? So basically when my last story time when I left off, the timeline finished off at I believe it was Christmas, right? Um, you know, everyone had a very Merry Christmas, right? And then the New Year started and, you know, there wasn't really much going on, to be honest with you. Um, you know, John was on his, you know, some good behavior, right? And, you know, I had his phone password. I would, you know, periodically check to see what's what. And... I wasn't finding shit. Like, I was just like, oh, wow. Like, you know, man still turned a new leaf. Like, I couldn't believe this, right? But that was from about, like, you know, maybe January till about, like, until April, right? So April, I just finished a semester of school and I just wasn't feeling at myself, like myself towards the end of the semester. I was feeling, like, super off, you know? And it was just... It was weird to me so I took a pregnancy test and I was pregnant sure was I was pregnant and you know what like I cried I bawled my eyes out because in my head to myself I don't know why for some reason I thought that you know my life is over now like I'm done I'm cropped out like I'm washed up like I don't know why I had this idea in my head when it came to me being pregnant mind you i was <laughs> mind you i was i believe 24 turning 25 that year and i was just like ugh. like i was moving like i'm 16 and pregnant like seriously but anyways told john john was happy whatever and then it just came a point where i'm just like hey like we gotta tell our parents now like you know and John was just being super hesitant and you know we got into a big argument about it and I'm like why is this Maya moving like we're 16 like what the fuck is this like you know bro so I told my mom on my own whatever and my mom's like I already knew like I hate how do moms be knowing like I don't I don't know but anyway she's like I already knew or whatever and then he ended up um he just ended up, I don't know, we were just in a really weird space and it never made any sense to me because he seemed happy when I found out I was pregnant. Like, you know, it didn't make any sense to me at all, right? And I'm just like, yo, like, my nigga, I told my mom, like, we need to tell your mom, like, the hell? So I already had a relationship with his mom prior to, so I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna just go tell her myself, like, I don't have time for this, like, you know? Dog, who the f who told me? Who told me to go pull up on the people that mom? <laughs> Who told me to go and do that? Bro, I went and I had a long talk with his mom. You know, we had a heart to heart. And then towards the end of the conversation, she's like, Mila, I really like you. Like, you know, you're really, you're a really strong woman. And, you know, um, me personally, uh, as a person, I don't deal with um, things that aren't right i don't i don't like things that aren't right i'm not for it i'm not for nonsense at all so i'm gonna just tell you um i heard that tamika's pregnant and i'm just like all right cool so you know i took that little piece of information and i went on about my day and you know i just straight up page him i just asked him straight like yo tamika's pregnant expression on his face I couldn't even I can't even describe it like I can't even describe the expression he had on his face like it was just wild like it was crazy 
right? And then he was just like, he was super mute. Like the man was super mute. I couldn't believe it. And I'm like, yo, give me your phone. I'm going through his phone. I see that Timika had messaged him, but he didn't reply or some shit. Like, you know when you delete a contact and then when they message you again, um, when delete the contact, delete the text or whatever. And then when they message you again and I message it, it'll say um, that it'll give you the option to report the message as junk and it'll say the person's name, like maybe Tamika. I hate iPhone does that shit. But anyways, yeah. So <laughs> I seen that. So I'm like, okay, like man didn't respond, you know? I'm like, mm, okay, like that's weird. Like she's pregnant and like, you know, he's not responding. All right, cool. Like whatever, different shows for different folks. All right. Side note. Even though I thought it was weird that he wasn't replying to her, being that she was pregnant. But what I actually came to find out later on is that he had told her not to contact him unless it's an emergency. And he even went so far as to tell her he didn't have a phone. Right. So I was super pissed. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Da, da, da. That man said he was going to tell me when he was ready. Pardon me? Talking about, oh, he doesn't know if it might be his kid or not. Just a whole bunch of nonsense. Like, just beer. My nigga, you know that's your kid. I know that's your kid. You need to stop it. Like, just stop. I don't know. Just stop. And I kept saying that. I'm like, seriously, like, you don't even need to do all of that extra shit. Like, we both know the real here. Like, just be honest about it, you know? And I'm always a person where I'd rather someone be honest and forthcoming with me so that I can respect them way more. But when you insult my intelligence, my nigga, like, that's, I, I just can't respect you after that because you think that I'm an idiot and I'm a very intelligent young woman. You know what I mean? So I said to him, I'm like, listen here, like, I'm like, listen, call Tamika right now because, like, I'm not doing this, my nigga. At this point, I was about, like, maybe, like, six months pregnant. <laughs> five maybe six but anyways um like talk to me right now like the hell the man's hesitant moving super hezzy like not even trying to call so i'm like yeah you know me already like you know i get done i'm calling that like asap i called to me because like honestly this is none of your business da -da 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 -da. i'm like oh now you see if Tamika had been receptive in this moment because I wasn't being disrespectful at all when I called her. You see if she didn't tell me to mind my business, I wouldn't have proceeded to do exactly that and mind my business. So when Tamika didn't have a number and when John was telling her he didn't have no phone, when he damn well had a motherfucking phone and was on that bitch every day, okay? I would have made sure she had his number because the whole time... I kept saying to him, why doesn't Tamika have your number? Like, give her your number. And, you know, he just wasn't having it. He said, there's a reason why. And all types of dumb shit. Like, <sighs> She's like, oh, where's John? I'm like, John's right here. Like, when it, do you think that I could call you without John allowing me? Like, it was, <laughs> what? Make it make sense, baby. Like, <laughs> please. So anyways, she's like, oh, it's none of your business, da, 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 da. So I'm just like, it's none of my business? Okay. I, cool, like, you know? That was that conversation. And for me, I was just like, you know what I mean? Like, as another female, it's pretty clear here that we're both being lied to by John. Personally, I really feel like John didn't allow her to have his number in that moment because him and I were still living together. So he was trying to make it seem like he can't talk to her because I'm around type of vibe. But that was not the energy I was giving him. I was telling this nigga, talk to her. Like, how do you guys have a kid and you guys don't crack to each other? Like, I don't get it, but whatever. I just got to mind my little business, right? <laughs> For me, it was never a, oh, I hate Tamika or anything like that. Like, I'm not that girl. I'll always hate the nigga because he's the one who put me in this predicament in the first place. You know what I mean? So to me, her demeanor, I just, it was very off for me. I didn't feel it, whatever. But everyone's different, right? So anyways, continue on. Me and get a big argument. Like, just doing the most. Like, you know what I mean? Just doing the most. And I'm just like, yo, my nigga, like, you're a whole fucking liar. Like, seriously, like, I was so turned off, so turned off, whatever, whatever. And man's talking about he's going to do paternity tests, all this and that. I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, you're so extra. Like, you know it's your you. Why are you going through all these hoops and ladders and shit just to continue on with a whole lie? Like, you're sick, my nigga. Like, you? 
huh, I done met some liars in my life, but John, sickly, different type of sick, like, <laughs> different type of sick. So, whatever, some time goes by, like, you know, I'm not staying at the house or whatever, like, I'm just staying at my mom's, whatever. He comes and talks to my mom, he tells my mom the whole situation, basically tries to tell my mom, like, Tamika's lying and this, that, and he's gonna get a paternity test, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, what the f I'm like, yo, if this nigga really came and lied to my mom, like, that's messed up. Like, you know, to lie to me is one thing, but to go, to, but to lie to my mom, like, willingly, unprovoked, like, you're messed up, dog. Then this guy pops up one day, paternity test, kid says, I mean, I already knew that, right, cool, but if that's the extreme lengths you wanted to go to, I cool, bet, that's on you, right? The man's moving, like, you know, like, Oh my gosh, you can't believe, like, you know, how could this be po My nigga, you was knee deep in that WAP and you was knee deep in my WAP. It's just, it is what it is. Like, you was, you was knee deep. You know, I just come to find out he's lying about, you know, dropping off necessities for his child, about, like, whatever the arrangement is of him getting the child, like, just a whole bunch of nonsense, you know what I mean? I come to find out and like I, I addressed him like, why are you lying about these things? Like I've already accepted the situation for what it is. Like I don't understand. Like do you think I'm gonna get mad? Like you have to provide for this human being now. So why the F would I get mad if that's what you're doing? If I've chosen to sit down here and accept that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like cause if I would get mad about it, I would just move the fuck on with my life and be done, seriously. So anyways, big big argument we got into a real big or i really don't remember what it was what caused what sparked this i think it was like that whole situation like him lying about all of this he ended up <laughs> yo you know on instagram where you know the meme i think it's like justin la boy but there's a meme where it's just like oh um niggas get caught cheating on you and be like i'm i'm ready to go see the lady and <laughs> Yo, John was ready to go see the lady. I, I kid you not. John was ready to go see the lady. Okay? Because that nigga did not want me to motherfucking leave. He was ready to go see the lady. No cap. No cap. And with my dumb ass, I went to go see the lady with the man. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, bruh, this nigga had me sitting up in motherfucking therapy. Okay? And to make matters worse, he was lying in therapy. Like, it was just wild. It was crazy. Like, he was lying in therapy. And it was just, it was too much. Like, you know what I mean? That's when I realized, like, yo, he has a problem. Like, John has a problem when it comes to lying. You know, he can't help himself. And there's some people like that. You know what I mean? And I just, me personally, I choose to not deal with people like that because it's too much for my brain like you know if you're lying to the point where i'm starting to second guess my own self and my sanity uh-uh i that's too much i i don't do the gaslighting shits i don't mm -mm. i can't i can't it's too much so yeah we ended up seeing the lady and then it turned into this big mess and really and truly i really think john was the cause of it um but um yeah so tanisha claimed that someone had sorry not someone that me that i had called her and left a um a rude voicemail on her answering machine mind you at the time i was like nine months pregnant or whatever so i really would like to know why the f would i do that or even try to send one of my friends to do something like that or whatever it was a big blow up in the therapy session because he said that you know i'm basically going to make his life on that end hard because this is what i'm doing like what are you talking about why would i even do such a thing like seriously bro like what yeah like the police called me and all the time that's it may be you now i don't know if it is or not but the context of the of the conversation kind of led her to believe that it may be you. Yeah. There's no way for me to prove that, but I'm just, I'm just giving you the courtesy call to let you know that if it is you, just knock it off because it's just not worth getting into any sort of like criminal harassment charges or anything like that. Like I understand that the guy that you guys were dating, I don't know if you still are or not, but. I'm sure he's uh, told you some things and he's told her some things and perhaps that's caused some confusion mm -hmm. between the two of you females. Yep. Um, but I'm just letting you know, okay? Just just knock it off if it is you. 
Um, there is going to be a report put on this regardless. Again, like you're not in trouble like at all right now. And however, I do need to tell you that if it continues, there is a potential. But again, if if anything was to continue and it turns out it's not you with the queries and whatever you know what that we do, yeah. then obviously you're just gonna be added onto the report as another. So yeah, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, like. First, first of all, I'm due in a few days, so I definitely would not be calling her or anything. Anytime I've spoken to her, she's known yeah. it's me in the mm-hmm. past. And so that for me to be calling private at this point now is just mm-hmm. silly and makes no sense. Well, I'll tell you the context of the last conversation. Like, it was an unknown number, and uh, the female that was on the phone, she didn't recognize the voice. Uh, so I, I asked her that for sure. So I know she's spoken to you a couple times. So she doesn't know for sure that it's you but the context of the conversation was that of have you gotten a paternity test but I don't know if there's another female in the picture yeah, I, yeah. I just don't know I, I don't know because I mean because he played I, that the same voice recording you're talk you're speaking of he played that for me and he asked me if I have anything to do with that I, I wouldn't be asking her to do a DNA test when a DNA test was already done that makes no sense okay Okay, yeah, I mean, obviously there might be another female in the mix. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to say there is or there isn't. But, yeah. again, I'm just giving you the courtesy call, and I, I hope you all the luck with your with your pregnancy, okay? Thank you. No problem. Alrighty, take care. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. But I'm not harassing anyone. Like, harassment is when you're avidly and constantly trying to reach out to someone and they've told you to stop reaching out to them multiple times and you're going to extreme lengths like showing up to their job showing up to their house showing up to to frequent locations that you know they might be at to try to contact them or do something or harm them or anything of the sort i didn't do nothing of the sort anytime i spoke to tanisha I made it known that it was me, and I did not call. I, I'm, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't call private. I'm not calling no gal private. Me call a gal private for man, man mix up. Tch, lost your marbles. Not happening. You know what I mean? And the things that were even said made no sense because the person's telling, telling Tanisha she needs to go figure out the paternity of her child. That's stupid. Because at that point, the paternity of the child was already determined a long time. Like, just, and, you know, I ended up going back to the condo or whatever. And, you know, I just end up getting so annoyed and turned off because, like, I just come to realize he's just lying and lying and lying. Like, my nigga, if I already accepted this fact that you have another child, right? Why are you continuing to lie and carry on about it? Like, it just didn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? And I had to really give myself a reality check. Like, this is not cool. This is not it. You know, and I wasn't happy. I just really wasn't too comfortable with my situation. You know what I mean? And what it was. And I don't blame anybody but myself for allowing myself to get into this triangle shit like seriously you know what i mean because i seen the red flags earlier on and i decided not to address them and move the fuck on with my life and that's on me you know what i mean and now i'm older and i'm wiser and i know better one thousand percent right and it's just crazy because now i'm in just a different space in my life where i can look back on that and laugh to me right but when I was going on in the moment, I felt, I felt like shit, bro. I felt like shit. Like, I felt like complete shit. Looking back on this whole situation with John, I've grown so much tremendously since then till now. And I'm glad that I can come on here and, you know, be vulnerable with you guys and share some of these story times with you in hopes to help someone else who may be in the same predicament or any type of unfavorable, toxic relationship where you just need to get out, right? And I'm telling you, like, just, it's not worth it in the end to stay in a toxic situation because you'll end up not recognizing yourself. And unfortunately, when you become unrecognizable to yourself, that's when you're going to have to do 
the most work on self afterwards. You're going to have to pick up all the pieces by yourself because these fuck boys don't give a fuck. They'll leave you right where they motherfucking broke your heart at. Straight up. They don't care. Right? And you're going to have to do all of that internal work on yourself. And it's going to take some time. It will take a, a long time for, for you to get back to yourself as you know it. Like, this is... I've known John for like almost, I want to say, five years now. Maybe even longer than that. And I'm just now getting back to myself after that toxic ringer I went through with him. Right? But I know now a lot of things that I didn't know then, right? I was so naive in that situation and just ignoring red flags and whatnot that, you know, I was allowing a lot of things that myself now, I would never allow. What? Let a nigga even breathe wrong and it's off with him, like cutting off. No questions asked, no explanation, none of that. Because <laughs> when these niggas want to ghost us, they'll, they're ghosting us off the rip they're not even saying a peep or a word closure what's that fuck your closure straight not hearing from me ever again (laughs) but this is just a story to help anybody realize that you are worth way more than what you're being treated as you oxtail with you know extra gravy you that tender fall off the bone oxtail sis don't let nobody son treat you like you chicken back. And that's just that. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one.